Hey guys, what's up? We've got a, another to tutorial for you today, and it's going to be relatively short, but uh, kind of a cool function uh, for you ham operators on the program called FL Digi. You do have the option of printing your call sign or your ID on the waterfall. It's kind of a cool deal. Not a lot of people know how to do it, and you don't see it too often. But uh, if you want to impress your ham buddies and your friends on FL Digi, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. All you got to do is press a button, and uh, magically your call sign will appear printing on everyone's screen uh, that is tuned in on that particular frequency on FL Digi. So. Let's give it a try and see what it looks like and then I'll show you how it's done. Pretty cool. Let's get to it. Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be a video on uh, how to print your call sign or your ID on the FL Digi waterfall relatively simple procedure here and we'll run you through it. First thing we need to do is uh, go up to the configure and go into your user interface and then go into configure IDs video. So here's ID and here's video. Okay, what we need to do is make sure that your call sign is in the call sign right here. Uh, then we need to <laughs> configure the characters for one more digit than your call sign is. So mine is N7RBP. That's five digits. So I need to make the characters six instead of five. Whatever your call sign is, it needs to be one more digit than your actual call sign is. Then you go ahead and hit the save button. Oh, make sure that all of these are unchecked. All the check boxes, make sure they are unchecked. And then hit the save button and you're good to go there. Next thing we need to do is we need to click on a blank spot somewhere in the uh, menu bars here. I've already done this, there's mine, but we'll do another one here. We'll click, we'll right click on this blank box right here. And that brings up a, a, a screen uh, that you can configure one of these blank buttons with. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in, the first thing we need to type in is TXRS, we need caps on, TXRS ID colon small case. Okay, next thing we need to do is type in lock off. Okay, next thing we need to type in is modem null. Caps, M-O-D-E-M, -E null, colon, null. Brackets. Next thing we want to type in is TX with brackets. We want to type in brackets RXR SID RXR SID colon on. 
in small case bracket next one we need to type in video this is where you need to put your call sign in no space and 7 RBP bracket next thing we need to type in is bracket the at modem sign at sign modem M O D E M and then this is where you can put any mode that you want to put in I'm going to put in MFSK 32 you can put in Contessa 4 250 or, or whatever mode you want to operate want it to, to operate on next bracket at sign txr sid txr sid colon small case on next one at RXR SID RXR SID colon small case on and the last but not the least is the simple RX capital bracket and that's it then you need to label it print ID print ID right here in the macro button label window and then don't forget to hit the apply button because that saves all the changes apply there we go now you'll see we've got another one here just like that okay now we'll close and we will hit the print ID button that we just created and see how it works there we go prints in 7 RBP just like that and turns off that uh, is a short tutorial on how to print your call sign on the waterfall for FL Digi and one th other thing to note if you are in say you're in op <coughs> operating mode uh, Contessa 4, 4250 say and say you're over here on 1000 and that's where you're operating and uh, if you hit that print ID button you'll see that it prints where you're located in MFSK 32 but then it leaves you in MF, MFSK 32 at the default uh, uh, location of 1500 so you will have to go back to your original operating mode which was Contessa 4250 and uh, change back